Hey everyone, welcome to the front row with Ed. Today we're gonna to talk about ankle sprains 101. They are pretty easy to treat most of the time. They don't require you to get any specialized medical care. And in the off chance that you think it's fractured, you may have to get an x-ray, but we'll talk about a couple red flags to look for first before you go rushing off to the ER and dropping big money to get a medical exam that you may not need. Let's first talk about the terminology of the ankle sprain. So most ankle sprains, approximately 85%, are inversion sprains. It's referenced by the sole of the foot. So when the sole of the foot moves in, that's called an inversion sprain. And this is the outside of the ankle. The ligament that's most commonly affected is the anterior talofibular ligament. It's a ligament that goes from the talus to the fibula. So you can visualize it. When I turn this foot in, it stretches the heck out of this ligament. ligament. Ligaments connect bone to bone. And that's why you get that point tenderness right there where my thumb is. We'll talk about some basic things to look for, some exercises that you can do right away, and get you back on your feet again as soon as we can. Okay, buckle up. Ankle sprains 101. Like I said earlier, most ankle sprains are pretty easily treated and you do not have specialized care. However, 10% of ankle sprains do result in fractures. So I've made another video that talks about a couple things to look for to see if you do indeed need to go to the ER for an x-ray. However, let's assume that you do not have a fracture and you are ready to start exercising. So the basic treatment plan is to ice and elevate three times a day for about 15 minutes, get a brace if walking is painful, and start exercising. We'll talk about some basic range of motion exercises with a TheraBand, followed by a little calf stretching with a towel. Now this is actually one of my 18-year-old basketball players who just recently sprained his ankle just a, about an hour before I did this video. And you can see I'm palpating the anterior talofibular ligament and right where the ankle is starting to get a little puffy. So he has a mild sprain or what we call a grade one so we're safe to start exercising. With the exercises, we want to start using those muscles as a pump to try to help increase circulation and to reduce swelling. And we'll basically do it in all four directions. So first you have the athlete holding on to the band and there's just a little bit of tension on that band. Now if you have pain with that, you don't have to use the band, but the band offers just a little bit more muscle pumping action. So the first movement is he's stepping on the gas just a little bit as he push down. As he pushes down, he's going to invert the ankle just a little bit. All this is done in a pain-free range of motion. And you can see, like I said, he's already starting to get some discoloration and a little bit of swelling on that lateral part of the ankle, which is really common. But this is done in a pain-free range of motion. Next, we change the direction of the TheraBand to work on what we call inversion and eversion. So we put the TheraBand around his right ankle, and now we're working in and out of that ankle, inversion and eversion. Now you have to be careful when you go into inversion, that's actually going to gap the ligament that was just strained, the anterior talofibular ligament. So you want to make sure that you don't go too far as to cause pain. Remember, the idea is to just lightly work these muscles as a pump to try to promote fluid and circulation transfer, and also to prevent muscle atrophy. All these are done three sets of 25 repetitions in a pain-free range of motion, nice and slow. Now we bring the resistance from the lateral part. So here he's crossed his right foot over his left, or you can just have someone hold it there or wrap it around a pole or something like that. So I'm just going to hold it here first to give you an idea. So now the tension's coming from the outside. It's the same movement, inversion and eversion of the ankle in a pain-free range of motion. Three sets total of 20 to 25 repetitions. Like I said, trying to promote some circulation and prevent muscle atrophy. You want to go nice and slow to help with that motor control. The last movement we do, the tension's coming from the other side, and we're pulling up. And we're working a muscle higher up on the leg called the anterior tibialis. Same basic concept, pain-free range of motion, using the muscle as a pump. 
and then you'll finish up by doing a calf stretch. You're going to grab onto a towel and you're going to pull. Nice and easy, pain-free range of motion, and you feel a stretch by that Achilles, soleus, and gastroc. You'll hold the stretch for 20 seconds and repeat that three times. So there you have it, basic ankle sprain care 101. First thing you do is you ice and you elevate 15 minutes three times a day. Stay off your foot if possible. If you do need to walk, wear a brace to protect the ligamentous structure. And then start with your range of motion and yellow TheraBand exercises three times a day to help promote fluid transfer, circulation, and to prevent muscle atrophy. Let me know if you have any questions. Like the video if you found it helpful. And good luck.